Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTM. This is another quick, this is where this is, a look with the um, Natasha Denona Lila palette. And I saw this look from Kinky Sweat. Of course, hers looked a lot better than mine. <laughs> and it's my technique, and I acknowledge that. And I keep playing in makeup because I know the more I play with it, the better I'll get. And please excuse my hair. I forgot to brush it again before I did the video anyway. So I wrote down what's where so that I can breeze through this. Amara... This shade here is in the crease <laughs> and above the crease. And I don't think I've taken the shadow this far out before. And it's also on the lower lash line. And so I blended it out and dragged it under. And I never did that that way before. So that's why that's looking janky. So learn from my mistakes. Helio, this color here is on the inner corner. Cyclone is on the first third of the lid. So Cyclone is here. Her purr is on the remainder of the lid, so that color is here. And it is really a gradient effect because it does kind of look like one color. Actually, this whole look is monochromatic. It all looks like it's almost one color. Dragon Bite, this shade here, is on the first third of the lower lash line on top of Amara. And so that's all the colors. Real simple. Am I missing any? No, that's it. That's all the colors. And it does, I like the look, but I'm missing something up here. And so I'm not sure what to do because I have that extra space up there. So I'm going to take, I don't, I'm hoping it doesn't come out too dark. I'm going to take Nude Mauve, this shade here. And I'm going to take a clean blending brush. <laughs> and I'm going to just go straight in. And I'm going to blend out just above that line just to have something up here because there was not um, a brow bone highlight for this look. And I am kind of missing something because I have all this space up here. I like how that turned out. This side is looking kind of janky like right here. And again, it's my technique and I think it's because of how I applied the eyeshadow primer and or the brush that I use. See, that's looking patchy. And this palette is not patchy. So that's it for this look. Except I am going to take a little bit of... What is this shade? Magnolia. And I'm going to use that as a brow bone highlight. Let me know if you guys still have some of these silver handle Sephora brushes from like way back in the day. I forgot which shade that was already. Let me see. Okay, this is the right one. I love these brushes. I've had this brush probably at least 10 years, maybe longer. Is that showing up? When I go like this, I can see it. But just like in general, I don't really see it. Which is good. So I'm going to go back with this brush and just wipe that off on my cloth here. And then just wipe that over. So I do like that better. I do need to clean up. <laughs> Where's my Q-tips? Let me see if I can. You know what? I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. And see if I can fix this really quick. Hopefully I can. This is my... Hmm. I was going to say my first time doing it this way, but it actually is not. This is the brush I use to smooth out my eyeshadow primer on my lid. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Okay. So how would I do? I'm not liking how this piece juts out. Because <laughs> it goes straight and then it's... Do I need to put more concealer? I am really liking this. I've done this before, but not with such precision. I've used it to clean up under my eyes, but not to fix a mistake. 
like how you got how you guys saw in the beginning and that is too light I used too much and then I gotta figure out how to fix that so this did actually work and I know this is something people do to clean up but I, as I just said I've never done this technique to fix a mistake I've always just used it just to clean up in general okay then I gotta figure out how to get that not to look so bright now well not bright but light Hmm. What am I going to do? I'm going to take some translucent powder. <laughs> like, I am totally just experimenting, so thank you for experimenting with me. I'm going to take a, a flat brush. Do I want to take a flat brush? Let me move quick here because I don't want to be here all day. I don't want you guys to be here all day. So I'm taking, this is a blending brush. I'm just, I just picked up whatever. And this is translucent setting powder. I just want to tone down how that looked bright right there. This is the Lancome Long Time No Shine Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, and I am sweaty, so let me stop with this. Oh, goodness. This is just to get the sweat off my face. <laughs> So this is it for this look really quick and I do already have on foundation everything. I did my brows, I put on mascara. I did not put on any liner on my upper lash line and underneath I already told you what colors were under there. And so thank you for watching. Let me know if you're still using and loving the Natasha Denona Leela palette. Feel free to link your looks below. I'm liking that. Learn from my mistakes and learn how to fix mistakes. Okay, I'm digging it. So that's it for this video. Thanks guys. Bye.